Hello, welcome to another series. Can you tell that I like series or like the idea of making series? I think that's a little closer to the truth. Um, math Mondays. I love math. We're just going to put that out there right there. I actually have a bachelor's degree in mathematics, and I think math is really, really, really fun. I think a lot of people have had a bad experience with math in school and therefore have a negative um, perception of math, but I think math is incredibly fascinating. I think it's interesting. I think there are many facets for it, and I just want to take time each week to highlight a book of more popular mathematics that I'm reading that I think might be of interest to a wider variety. So yes, even though I am finished with my degree, I still read books on math very frequently. Very frequently. I really like math. So I just want to take some time to highlight books. I'm going to use the term popular mathematics, so I'm not going to be recommending the best calculus textbook for you because even to me, that would be a little boring. These are just books that take math concepts and either explain them or apply them somehow or use math in fun or cool ways that might be more accessible to the average person. And I'm also going to try to make a fair judgment of these books as to where they fall in difficulty. Now this is a little more difficult for me to judge. I am not a math whiz. I do not have a natural knack for math, but I do have a degree in math. So I I might have some more exposure to other things and I might not perceive something as difficult or scary or um, challenging to understand, which maybe someone who doesn't have as much experience with math might have those perceptions of this. So I'm going to try to rate each book or talk about where, I, how much math someone might need to know, or whether or not it's challenging or not to understand. Not doing a very good job explaining this. Basically, is this something that an eighth grader could understand, someone still in their teens could understand, or is this something that maybe you want to have a, a good foundation in math, or maybe you more appreciate it if you had a better foundation in math. That's kind of what I'm talking about, kind of what I'm looking for. So. There are people outside. Anyways, people are talking. They might hear me <laughs> talking about my math books. <laughs> okay, anyways. Um, so the book that I'm choosing to highlight this week is The Mobius Strip by Clifford Pickover. Um, this is a relatively short book. This is by no means a... Um, Thick thing to go through. 216 pages. I think I did this in a couple days. And this is not necessarily a deep history of the Mobius Strip or its deep number of applications in theory or anything like this. This is just ways the Mobius Strip is fun. So if you have no exposure to this, this will take you from zero to the end of the book without really needing to know anything about this going in. I really enjoyed this book because I think it's a good look at the Mobius strip in pop culture. He, um, at the end of each chapter, he includes quotes that include the Mobius strip. There's lots of illustrations, plenty of easy things to walk through. Um, everything's broken up in nice, simple sections, and the the chapters are almost like categories of it. And he gets into some really interesting stuff that even I didn't know about. Like, I believe there's a mathematician who tried to, or he, he worked with people who claimed to communicate in other dimensions because if you could go to another dimension, some math problems would be easier to solve. And that sounds very confusing, but the way he explained it was like, oh yeah, that would make sense if you could go to another dimension. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's very, he has lots of diagrams and illustrations. Um, and he does use some mathematical terminology, but I don't think anything that um, isn't clearly explained first. However, I think if you go into this book um, with very little experience in mathematics, it might be a little challenging, or maybe not challenging, but it might look a little intimidating. But I don't think there's enough in here that would deter you from reading it. I don't think it would be impossible for you to read it. I just think that maybe you might be a little more intimidated because he doesn't shy away from using 
uh, mathematical terminology or formulas, which some of the popular mathematics books do, I think, just to draw in those readers who might be a little more intimidated by it. Um, but there's plenty of fun information in here. I really liked it. It was 216 pages and it gives you a really good introduction um, to Mobius strips, what they are, and the way they've come out in pop culture, in history, in inventions, um, and even in communing in different dimensions to solve math puzzles. Anyways, this is very, very interesting. I recommend it. Um, it's a pretty good short book um, and I think it's accessible to almost everybody. So if anyone reads this or if anyone has any suggestions for anything else I should do in this series, please let me know. I'm very interested in mathematics, like I said, um, so I will gladly give anything a shot that I can get my hands on. That is the limiting factor right now is what's in my public library that I can place a hold on, but there's plenty of stuff I can read. So I'm going to be interested, interest, I am interested in sharing all my good math finds, and I hope I inspire some of you to read books that maybe you wouldn't normally read. Anyways, everyone, I hope you have a great day, and happy reading about math.